I waited till the eight kilometer point. I stayed patient. I was like, maintain this effort to 8K, and if you're still feeling good, push on. Um, and that's exactly what I did. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Um, so today is long run day, Sunday for us. Um, I'm out with Cole. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you feeling today after yesterday's cross country? Legs feel right today. Yeah, I might feel good. I didn't feel right yesterday. <laughs> no? So. It's weird, isn't it? Sometimes after a race, you can wake up the next day and your legs feel like all right. Yeah. They should feel absolutely knackered, but. Yeah, we're going to keep today's long run nice and controlled um, around 15 miles today, which is 24k if you're running k's like me. Um, yeah, we'll give you a little bit of a breakdown of how the race went yesterday at Intercounties um, from a Kent and Essex perspective. And um, yeah, just getting rolling. What sort of pace were you at? 424 average in k's. Do you have the miles, Chris? Seven minute miles. Seven minute miles. So yeah, there you go. Nice and easy, well, a little bit. Average heart rate, 130 at the moment. So, looking at around, yeah, nice easy pace for today's long run. Nothing crazy. Um, last time I did a cross country race, I pushed on on my long run the next day and had a bit of a calf niggle. So, yeah, we'll keep things sensible today um, and see how the body reacts over the next few days. Yeah, nice to be joined by Cal. So we both opted for the Pace jacket from Say Sky. Um, yeah, shout out to Say Sky for supporting us YouTube creators and sub elite athletes across the world. Um, I'll be doing Copenhagen Marathon, so hopefully we'll see some guys from Say Sky um, during that marathon weekend. But yeah, it's too hot. We're gonna have to strip the layers. Um, we're gonna hide it behind this log, which means we have to adjust slightly the route I had planned to make sure we come back here. But yeah just about 11, 11 degrees in the UK today which is yeah slightly too too toasty for the extra layer we have to lose it should be safe I'm ditching the gloves as well you say yeah they're in the pocket of the jacket yeah might get rid of mine how are you going to know which was which mine's got the gloves in the pocket is this yours one yeah yeah that one. cool leave my gloves here as well I did have a feeling that we would get a little bit too hot but yeah no. It's that first feeling when you get out of the door, you yeah. just a little bit chilly. Ready to go? Yeah. Back rolling. Yeah, so we lasted three, three and a half K with, with the, with the um, coats on and we've had to ditch them. But yeah, they're great jackets. Thank you to Say Sky for sending those out to us. Um, maybe I'll even leave a link down in the description to Say Sky if you want to check them out. I'm feeling generous. <laughs> but yeah, let's get rolling. So yeah, I've taken Cole out on one of my long run routes. Um, this one's about 22k, so he's looking at doing 15 miles today, which I'm more than happy to do as well. So we might have to add a little bit on at the end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just wanted to ask you a little bit about the cross country yesterday. Yeah. Um, it's both our first time in our respective counties' vests. So how did you think it, it went as a in the Kent team? Um, Kent team as a whole, I think we did pretty well considering the dropouts we had. Um, and I think everyone pulled their weight, to be honest. Yeah. I didn't have the best race, but I didn't give up either because I knew I had to finish my team. So yeah, it was just a pretty standard day, to be honest. Yeah. Nothing great, but nothing. Good performance. You got your target of, of top 100, so you can't be too disappointed. Exactly. Yeah, we were talking in the car, weren't we? What was our goals? Yeah. And to be honest, we didn't really know. Top half, we were saying before, maybe top 100. So, so yeah. yeah. But I got and that, that top 191st. So yeah, really chuffed with that. And it's pretty similar for me, really. Um, goals going into the race was 
yeah, top 100, top 50% of the field. Oh, there's a beat. <laughs> um, and I, yeah, had a really good race. Started not conservatively, but within myself. Um, I had two guys from, straight on here, mate. Um, had two guys from Essex in front of me who usually beat me, um, or I'm there or thereabouts. So they were good markers to have. Um, and then, yeah, slowly started picking them off um, <clears throat> as the race went on. Got to about 4K, it's feeling good. Um, I'll go over a bit more of a, a breakdown when we get home in terms of splits, heart rate, um, that sort of data like I usually would. But yeah, overall, a pretty, pretty good race for me. Um, probably above what I expected to do, which was, yeah, a good confidence boost, having recently built my mileage up um, and at the start of the week was feeling a little bit overcooked so I'm glad I've taken a bit of a down week, raced well um, and looking forward to push on towards Copenhagen. Our jacket's still there. They are. I was going to try and play a trick on you, but it's too late. <laughs> I'll talk about it too late. Cheers, thank you, mate. How far have we done so far? An hour and 20 in, and we've done 18.4. Yeah, pretty good so far. We've got about 5, 6k to go. So there we go. Finished our long run. 24.31 kilometers on my Coros. Nice day for it. Um, yeah, temperature was good. Got some Bix hydration now to kickstart the recovery. I've even given Cole a, a tablet. Um, so yeah, if you want to use um, my discount code, it's in the description with Bix. Oh, I rate it as a Strava. A little bit of a down week for me, probably about 10-15% less mileage. But with the cross country race yesterday, I'm glad I made that decision and hopefully I can push on in the next few weeks. But yeah, just going to finish these off. Yep. Cole's going to hit the road, so yeah, it's been a pleasure. Yep. Um, Lovely weekend together. Sharing the weekend with you, sharing about the car, we had an absolute nightmare on the way back broke down three times um, but yeah that's why Cole actually stayed around last night because yeah we we didn't get back in till gone midnight wasn't it so, I would have been falling asleep at the wheel yeah it's not dangerous uh, it's not it's not safe sorry it's yeah dangerous. <laughs> so yeah thanks for coming um, and yeah, thanks for having me you're welcome hopefully we can uh, see each other soon yeah do this again sometime yeah, definitely a lovely run there with Cole um, it was a pleasure spending the weekend down in Loughborough with him I just thought I would break down the race a little bit more in detail um, to wrap up this video, so the first kilometre of the race went out pretty fast in 3 minutes and 13 kilometres. For me, average pace for the entire race was 326, so that gives you a rough idea. About 10 seconds um, quicker than the rest of the race, but I didn't go out too hard. I was probably in around 60th position um, at the start, and I held that position probably to around 4 kilometres. Um, so I'm just going to go over how the race felt. Um, some stats such as my average pace and my heart rate throughout the race and then finally a little bit of a breakdown of how I sort of approached this uh, cross-country race the mental side of it because with cross-country it's hard to sort of judge your pace in fact you might as well not wear a watch because pace is kind of irrelevant especially on a hilly muddy course um, so yeah let's start with the pace so yeah average pace for the entire uh, race was 326 per kilometer which was the fastest I've managed to run any cross country race this season. Um, I think I've done my sort of average is usually around 335, but again, that depends um, highly on the course. As I said, it was very runnable. There was lots of, of areas where it wasn't too muddy, so I was able to get some, some good speed up there. I think the winner for it, for sort of comparison, averaged around 310 per kilometer, um, maybe even a little bit faster, maybe more like 305 per kilometer so yeah just gives you a little bit of an idea of how far I was off the top um, I ended up finishing in 35th position which I was really really chuffed with everything sort of clicked on the day um, it was just one of those races where yeah it all went perfectly um, the race strategy how I was feeling the shoe choice everything was was perfect for me even the course I was saying to Cole was more like was like almost suited if I was going to design a cross-country course it would be just like that one it was almost suited to my strengths um, as a runner so yeah really enjoyed the course 
I will just say, the kit I'm wearing here, I've just opened from Say Sky. Um, this is sort of their running gilet um, and their long sleeve sh shirt. So yeah, very thankful for um, the gear from Say Sky. Also another pair of um, the half tights, which um, I wore on the race day. These ones actually have got some, some pockets in for, for gels, which are gonna be great for my marathon training. So I'm gonna try those out in the next few days and I'll give you a bit of a, a review if you like on, on this kit. But yeah, great quality and the standout pieces of kit for me from Say Sky. Definitely their long sleeve t-shirts and their half tights. Um, but yeah, back to the race. So four kilometers in, which is yeah just under halfway. It was the first time I, I glanced at my watch, just to check, see what the pace was like. Um, having sort of worked my way through the field between two kilometers and uh, two and 4K, um, and I came alongside one of my Essex teammates who's called Stephen, Steve Strange. Um, he always beats me on the cross country course um, or any any distance really. So it was a bit of a shock to be alongside him at 4K, hence why I checked the watch. I was like, am I overcooking it a little bit here? Breathing was still feeling good, legs were still feeling good. Um, so I would just, I took confidence in that um, and just ignored anything the watch was telling me. Um, even though the pace looked all right at that time, maybe a little bit on the far side, I thought, but I carried on, pushed on, um, and at the halfway point, um, someone from the team Essex shouted that I was in 43rd position, just to give you an idea, and I finished in 35th. So between 5K and 10K, I took eight positions. Um, so yeah, raced um, really, really well in terms of coming through the field, and that's definitely how I'd recommend um, approaching a cross country race is start a little bit conservative and work your way through. Just You just feel a lot better um, throughout the race. Um, as soon as you get, start getting past, it's very easy to, to, yeah, to lose motivation and, and take off the effort. So yeah, that's a little bit about how the race went. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit how I approached the day mentally um, because I sort of took not a different approach, but I tried something I learned actually on this um, running, the running trip that I did with in Loughborough the previous weekend where we were talking about race situations and uh, Callum Jones who himself was a very good runner and coach was saying about um, like the pain we feel as runners in a race so example for example in a 5k race you get to the three and a half kilometer point and you're you're in a lot of pain and sometimes it can be hard to like continue pushing on through that level of pain knowing that there's there's more to come basically and what um, Callum was saying is basically try to focus only on the moment. If you're focusing basically on the pain that's about to come, you're not gonna be in the moment and like pushing it to the max, um, if that makes sense. So I took that approach. Um, I tried to sort of ignore um, the pain that was gonna be coming and focus purely on um, that m the moment that I was in. So I kept a monitor on how, how my legs were feeling, how the body's feeling, breathing, that sort of thing. I got to the six kilometer point. I was like, I really wanna push this on now. I'm feeling good. Breathing still great. I could hear other guys around me. They were really, well, not really struggling, but relative to my breathing at the time, I could hear some guys were struggling. Um, but I decided, no, wait till the eight kilometer point. There's still a long way to go. Cross country can be a very energy sapping um, event. So I waited till the eight kilometer point. I stayed patient. I was like, maintain this effort to 8K. And if you're still feeling good, push on. Um, and that's exactly what I did. I pushed on for the finish, finished really strong. And yeah, was first in Essex and 35th overall, which yeah, was well above what I expected to come on the day um, and a, a really good experience in my first Essex vest. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about how the day went. Um, not really much more to add in terms of the race other than, yeah, it was a great, a great weekend. Shame about the car troubles that me and Cole had on the way down there. Next time, Cole, um, you can drive, that's for sure. I'm not gonna trust my little Peugeot again um, over that sort of distance, but yeah. I'll let you get on. Thanks for watching as always. Aspire to run and run to inspire and we'll see you with another one soon. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be taking the Terra uh, Kyger 8 from Nike up to, uh, or down to Surrey um, with Pro Direct and we're gonna be doing a, a day promoting those shoes. So yeah, excited to give those a go. So that'll be the next video on the channel. Um, yeah, lots to look forward to. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.